Okay, sixth grade, lesson 83, and this is on proportions. So, let me show you an example of a proportion. Okay, write this on your paper. Three-fourths, and they're saying it equals six-eighths, okay? Now, how do I know if this proportion is correct? Well, let's do an example by drawing it, okay? What would three-fourths look like? It'd uh, look like this, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's do a six-eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do you think? Are they the same? Same thing. Same exact thing. Same exact same. This one just happens to be cut in eight slices, smaller slices. This one's cut in bigger slices, four. But it's still the same amount. Do you see that? It's still yeah. all of this. All of this. Okay? So, guess what? An easy way I can figure out in my head that I don't have to draw is by going, will something go four times something go into eight? Does four times something equal eight and three times something mm -hmm. equal six? Has to be the same number for it to be an equal proportion. So what would be the number that goes from here to here? Uh, four times two, two times two. three times two. Times two. Okay? Now, so that shows me that these are different proportions, okay? I could have done times three and times three, and what would the answers have been? 12 and 9. Yeah. Okay? That would be three times as many slices as this one. Which would have been the same thing too, wouldn't it? Which would have been the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Good job. Okay. Now, let's try this one. It says, it tells me to find a ratio that has a proportion of this. Okay? Now, it gives me a few examples. Which one do you think is proportional? A, B, C, or D to this? Um, think four, six. Yes, C. C. You're exactly right. Because why? Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Okay? So if they asked you which one is proportional with this one, it means that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now listen to this proportion, and this one's going to look, look a little bit different. All right, listen to this one. It says, write down this proportion. Four is to six as six is to nine. Four is to six as six is to nine. Okay? okay. That's how I would write that. Four is to six as six is to nine. Now, here's the problem with this one. Guess what? There's not an easy fix to get from six to nine and four to six. But guess what? If I multiply it times, um, I'm thinking it's gonna be 0.5 or 1.5. If I do one and a half, remember how half is 0.5? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if that equals that. I wanna see if it's right. 9.0, yep. Okay, so basically this is multiplied six times one and a half, four times one and a half. Okay, so let's try that. Four times um, 1.5, five times four is 20, 6.0. Yep, so we're right, six and nine. So they multiplied it by one and a half. You see how that one's a little bit harder? You shouldn't get into con come into contact with many of these or you have to do one and a half. They should be even numbers or like, um, uh, normal numbers like one, two, three, four, five. You shouldn't have to do halves, but this one happened to be. You understand it? Mm -hmm. You still feel like you understand it? Yeah. All right. What if they, you get a problem like this that looks like this? Three fifths equals six over a. Now the a just means blank. Mm -hmm. They want to know what the answer to a is. So it's think it's going to be 10. Yes, why? Because 3 times 2 equals 6, times two so 5 has to times 2 equals 8 equals 10. Very good. All right, last problem. All right, um, here's what they say. 2 is to 6, write that down on your, problem, on your paper. 2 is to 6 as what number is to 30? What number is to 30? I put a W for what? You could have put a question mark or anything. Okay, so what they said is two is to six as 
what number is to 30? So how do I get from 6 to 30? Uh, 6 times something. Times 5. 5, yeah. Uh-huh. So times 5. So W equals 10. ten. 5 times 2 is 10. Feel like you got it? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you know how to write those ones that say 2 is to 6 as what number is to 30? Uh-huh. Do you feel like you understand how to write yeah. those if you hear that? Okay, that's lesson 83.